What's up guys, this is John here with JobMetFitness.com and Acceleration Fitness and this is take two, I shot the whole thing and realized two minutes in my phone ran out of battery so I just talked for 20 minutes to no, nothing. So, I'm here to talk to you guys about how to write your own perfect full body workout. So, full body workouts are great for busy people who you know don't have time to get to the gym five or six days a week, if you're traveling, if maybe you do normally get to the gym five or six days a week, but then you know something comes up some week and you can't, full body workouts are perfect and they're also great for athletes as well. And we use them a lot here at Acceleration with many of our clients. So when we're talking about perfect full body workouts, we are talking about movements, not necessarily body parts. So it's a little different way to think about it. Whereas kind of the bodybuilding-ish, the old school way to think about it is, you know, a chest day, arm day, leg day, back day, stuff like that. You know, buys and tries. So that is not how we want to approach things when we design a full body workout. So we want to go pretty compound movement or a lot of compound movements to get a lot of, you know, muscle involved and and think of movements, not body parts. You get more accomplished when it comes to full body. Not saying that's bad. It's great for you know different splits, and I myself follow that in my own uh, you know powerlifting slash bodybuilding programming. But with full body workouts, you want to think of movements. So when we're talking about this, well, here's the, kind of the breakdown of the movements. So upper body, you have pushes, and now these break down into two categories. You have a horizontal push and a vertical push. So vertical push is any basically overhead press variation. And then horizontal, think like bench press, dumbbell bench press, stuff like that, push up. Those are your upper body pushes. Pulls, again, horizontal, so your rows, your face pulls, stuff like that. Then your vertical, so basically your upright row variations are there. So you have your upper body pulls. Then your hinge, so your hinge is going to be a hip dominant movement. So it's not a squat, you know, and what it's gonna be is stuff like Romanian deadlifts, kettlebell swings, single leg deadlifts. So any movement here where the hip is the main, where the main movement is occurring, not really the knees. There's a little movement flexion extension there, but not a whole lot. So that is your hinge movement. Then you have the knee dominant movement. So that is going to be things like lunge, step up, squat. So stuff where obviously the squat, there's a lot of movement occurring in the knee joint. There's obviously a lot of the hip too, but it's a knee dominant movement over just a hip dominant movement. Then you have your core movements. So some people call this pillar, abs, whatever you want to call it, I don't really care. And then you can break it up if you'd like into anti-rotation, which is, you know, here not rotating, maybe a band, a cable, a pal off press. Um, rotation, so anything here, right? Um, med ball tosses, land med rotations, things like that. Anti-extension, so that's going to be you know, your, your plank variations where you're not going into extension here. Um, also, I ran out of room, but extension, so things like back extensions, 45 degree back raises, um, back raises on a glute hand machine, stuff like that, where you're moving here, it's gonna hit the back of the core, because technically that's your core, and that's kinda in your erectors, right? So your low back. And then also with that is, kind of like when thinking about the six pack abs, anti-extension is going to train those, but then also kind of flexion based exercises. So, you know, your your toes to bar, knees to chest, stuff like that, where you're coming up and squeezing those abs. So those, those exercises are gonna fit into that category. Then we have power movements. So power movements are going to be things like dumbbell snatches, you know, uh, normal snatches, cleans, jumps, uh, stuff like that. So with our po power rows, with our power movements, if you decide to include them, you don't have to. If you want to maybe just focus on, you know, hypertrophy, muscle size, more bodybuilding style, full body workout, you're probably not going to include those. And this is just kind of if you want to be more, if you're more, a little more performance based, athletic based, you know, if you want to include those things. Um, and they're going to be based around triple or double extension of the hip, knee, and ankle, triple being with the ankle double, not the ankle. So those are gonna be included at the beginning of the workout if you do include them, we'll talk about that in a minute. Then mobility can also be worked into the full body workout um, or the warm up. again, I'll go into more detail about that later. Then the last one is 
carry variations. So carry, va carry variations actually kind of belong in chord, but they kind of belong on their own. And because they do work a lot of core, and you can vary them like front rack carries, suitcase carries, overhead, you know, waiter carries with one up, one down. So there's gonna be a lot of core involvement in the, in the trunk, in the midsection, but also, I mean, their total body, right? So they're kind of their own breed of core, I guess you could say. So those are the kind of the movements that you wanna focus on and think of when we think full body workouts. So now a sample here, a sample workout is written up here on the right. And I'm gonna kind of go through it and explain kind of the thought process behind it. So up here we have a superset. Okay, so before this, not written on the board, it's assumed you've done some type of dynamic warm up, right? So something to get the blood flowing, you know, to prep these movements. So if you're, so what are we doing here? We're, you know, there's no squat variations, but there's some hinge variations. So, you know, you want to do a lot of glute work, maybe hip bridges, mini band walks to get the glutes firing. And in the warm ups, you want to do things that are going to get you moving, not necessarily just static stretching. You can do a little bit of it. I like to do hip stretches in the warm up just because my hips are kind of tight from squatting and deadlifting all the time. But those, those kind of help. But then also, what I like to include is I like to do my kind of core work in the warm up just because I hate doing core work. And if I do it in the warm up, it guarantees that I'll do it. I won't skip it at all, right? Because that's kind of how I use use my time to get warmed up and I accomplish, you know, training my core at the same time. Um, so I'll do things like, you know, ab wheels, ab rollouts, toes to bar, knees to chest, you know, uh, back extensions, and I even like glute ham raises, which is a lower body exercise. I love those before I squat or anything like that. But those things are gonna be great because they're kind of low impact. You gotta be careful with them and not go crazy, especially with things like back extensions and glute ham raises if you're not necessarily used to them in high volume. But those are things that are gonna help you warm up, but also you're gonna accomplish things and kind of gain, get the strength gain from it as well as the benefit from the warm up. So that's assumed you've already done that. So let's move to our first, our first thing here. We got two things going on here, super set. Uh, dumbbell snatch, which is power movement, and a pal off press. So this is assuming this person wants to do some type of power movement. Maybe they're a weekend warrior, they like to play basketball, so they want to kind of keep that, you know, that, that power and be able to jump, sprint, that stuff, right? So, I'm not saying that doing other, doing other things doesn't, but just, just go with it. So, they want a dumbbell snatch. So, we're gonna keep it, keep it low rep. I didn't write reps and sets and all that, but maybe they're gonna do triples or four or five, really no more than five. So, they're gonna dumbbell snatch, then they're gonna to go to the pal off press. So this is gonna hit the core anti-rotation. Anti-rotation is great because it's pretty low impact and it's kind of acts as, as an active rest, but it also, you know, again, accomplishes some, some work. So a pal off press, if you don't know, is with a cable or band, press out, resist the rotation, back in here. So it's gonna train that midsection in those anti-rotation muscles um, in, in the torso. So, those are the first two things you're gonna do. Maybe they're doing three, four, maybe even five sets if, if they want. I'm not gonna get into specifics on that. Then they're gonna get into a tri set here of uh, hinge movements. So they've got an RDL set up, so maybe they're gonna use a dumbbell RDL, so that's here from the top, right up there, hit the hammies, a little bit of low back glute, all that stuff. Um, that's a hinge movement, and they've got an upper body push, so a dumbbell bench press, so we're going horizontal today. So horizontal push, dumbbell bench, right? Then plank variation, so that's gonna hit their anti-extension movement pattern. So maybe it's a plank with a reach or a weighted plank, something like that. So it's gonna kinda hit the anterior, but really, I mean, again, a lot of these core movements are gonna hit much of the abdominal muscles, right? And, and low back as well. Um, so they're gonna go through these three movements here, maybe three sets, we'll call it three sets. Then they're gonna move into this tricep. So here we've got our knee dominant, and that's gonna be a front rack step up. So either kettlebells here, dumbbells, or a barbell, like a front squat, and they're gonna do step ups, maybe to a medium size box. I don't know what size, whatever size they want. So they're doing front rack step ups, then they're gonna do their upper body pull, and again, we're keeping it horizontal today. So that's gonna be a chest supported row, laying down on the bench, rowing up with dumbbells or kettlebells, and right back down. 
Then they're gonna go into core, so more of a rotational, so maybe a band or a cable wood chop. Maybe we're going high. So here, you can even do low if you want, but that's gonna train the rotational, but then also it's gonna be anti-rotation when you bring it back. If you're going up, it's gonna, you're gonna slow and control it back. So it's also gonna kind of train that anti-rotation with the pattern. Now, one thing to be said with these core exercises, they can be subbed out for different types. Maybe, you know, you wanna do a little more of that six pack. So you do some anti-extension, then maybe you do some toes to bar, right? So a little bit of flexion in there. So, those can kind of be subbed in as you wish. And then also what you can do is trade these for mobility exercises. Um, maybe your hips are really tight, really bad. So you want to do some elevated pigeons with your leg up on a bench, maybe you sub those out. And again, it kind of acts as, as an active rest and, but you're still accomplishing something by kind of loosening up your hips and eventually that'll, that'll benefit you know, everything. So those are kind of interchangeable and carries can also be subbed in for any of those as well. And then going back to the horizontal and vertical push pull. So what I kind of like to do is maybe we make it a horizontal push pull day. So you're bench and rowing, right? And then maybe the next full body workout, you're gonna do vertical. So you're gonna overhead press and an upright row at some point or something like that. So to kind of hit both both planes because you don't want to just do horizontal, you don't want to just do vertical. You got to keep it kind of interchangeable like that. So those are all sub. You know, you can sub those in and out as you see fit and kind of as you will want to focus on and your goals and kind of weaknesses there. So you kind of got to be smart about it a little bit and see where you're at with that. Then so we've done the warm up, we've done the workout. Then we're into the finisher. So the finisher is going to be some kind of high intensity, you know, exercises where it can be focused on a strength based finisher, or it could be focused on a conditioning based finisher. Maybe, you know, you can focus it on, you can even include the carries there, a strength based, maybe a carry, you know, anything you, I mean, really the finisher is time to work on your weakness. Your conditioning sucks, do sled sprints, do normal sprints. If, you know, you, you want to get bigger arms, maybe do, bicep, tricep, superset, high intensity countdown finisher, right? So it's gonna get your heart rate up, it's gonna challenge, it's gonna push you, but you're still accomplishing something that's gonna to work towards whatever it is you need to work on. So those are really kind of up to you. Um, yeah, so I mean really, that's, that's up to you and just your specific things. So high intensity finisher to finish things out. And I think that pretty much covers it all guys. Also in the description, I'm gonna link up an article that I wrote a while back, probably over a year and a half ago now for stack.com. And in there it kind of explains what I had just said in writing, but it also has a template that you can just copy and paste the words and put it in a Word document and basically have a template. I don't care if you do that, go for it. And just to follow along with, and then you can make your own full body workout very easily, very quickly. And once you kind of get a hang of this, you don't even have to think about it. You just think, okay, hinge, you know, push, pull, vertical, horizontal, whatever it happens to be. So give that a shot, guys. If you have any questions, as always, hit me up, jpepfitness at gmail.com. Drop and fitness on most of the social media stuff. Jpep on Snapchat, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And that is it, guys. Have a great day, night, whatever it is when you watch this. Just.